Hello, we have a 2005 Civic here. We gotta do the head gasket on it. It's similar to our 98 Civic video that is on our channel, but uh, a couple things are different. So we're gonna do this one step by step. Show you how to do the head gasket. Uh, first step is to remove this piece right here. You have the two tens that were right here, and you have an eight on the clamp that held this on. You can take air temp sensor, and there are two tens that are right here. We didn't get a chance to record that, but we'll do the rest. Next step is going to take uh, some extensions and 10 millimeter sockets. It's going to take off this 10 right here. There's one down there. It's hard to see. One right here and one right there. Next will be the 10 millimeter bolts right here, right here, the four on the foils, the two nuts that were right here. Take off these two clips, EGR and the temp sensor. This guy right here. This one right below These it. two tins right here. Recording. This little part gets a little tricky. Just push your finger in there and push it over and pull. I'll get these wires out of the way. You really don't need to disconnect the wire from the alternator. Uh, some people do, but you really don't need to. This guy right here, now those are off. Move this guy away. I tuck it back somewhere so it doesn't come forward. Uh, this guy, you're gonna have to lift it up, pull it out, lift it up, pull it back. Next, it's gonna be the 10 millimeter bolt right here that holds on this bracket. If you look down there, you'll see it. Uh, might not be able to see the video though. Ah, oh, that's right there, they can see it clearly. Yeah, the five bolts on the valve cover, 10 millimeter bolts. This little wire bracket does tend to be in the way. So we're gonna take that off right, right now. And now. Find a nice little pry point and pop that guy up. There we go. Yeah, these two 10 millimeter bolts back here on the that hold the bracket down for the air box. Take those guys up. I recommend having a magnet to reach all these guys. Of course, not necessary, just easier. This guy. Now, this guy out of the way, we can pull up the valve cover. Just like that. See, I see it gets in the way, just pull it over. Don't turn it upside down unless you plan on picking up those bolts. Next, gonna be the exhaust. Next, we're gonna disconnect the O2 sensor because we gotta get the shroud off. So, slide this off the clip by pushing in on that tab. Then push this. Yeah, and we're gonna remove this 12, that 12, the top 10 millimeter bolt right here, and same on that side. Okay, next, it's gonna be the three lower nuts on the exhaust. As a, apparently, this one is missing, right? So, we have this one and that one the 12 millimeter next we remove the power steering pump this is how it's different than the 98 civic or the uh, 95 to 2000 civic remove that 10 remove that 12 nut and remove this 12 bolt which is right behind the belt Set out of the way so we have more room Use gear wrench to make the job easier. Once you get this nut off, just pull the whole thing out and put it back together. Might not see it in 
video, but you'll be able to see it when you're doing it. Once you get that bolt loose, you can push the power steering pump down, pull it back up, then you can get your finger on it. This one's a little greasy, so. this now this needs to be pulled out of the way there's no need to remove any of the lines just park it over here you're good put these together so you don't lose them and set it aside there's a 14 millimeter bolt at the bottom of the ex exhaust we didn't get a chance to video it but once the 14 millimeter bolt is taken off from the bottom and the other bolts are off this thing can just move out and drop right down cam sensor just put your thumb into it, try not to pull on the wires. Take it off in three 10 millimeter bolts. This one, this one, and that one. Next, we're gonna mark the belt on the cam, where it is. Just use some whiteout. Go from one end to the other, and straight across. I'll tell you why in a little bit. These two 10 millimeter bolts right here, one here, one on the bottom. If this was a VTEC, there'd also be three other 10 millimeter bolts holding on VTEC solenoid, uh, you don't need to take those off, just disconnect the VTEC solenoid. But this is an LX, so there's no VTEC. Okay, remove this hose clamp right here. And also, we're going to remove the clip for the O2 sensor. Remove that 10, that 10. We're gonna slide this clip down further. I have five 12 millimeter bolts and nuts, the nut right here, bolt. There's two more lower on this side. There's one more lower behind here. Okay, once you get the water outlet loose, a small center screwdriver and start prying away the hose. We already did it. This is gonna get a little tricky. The long pry bar. Actually, he's just going to pull this away from the block. That'll pull the hose apart. Just lay this to the side. You don't have to remove it all the way, just as long as it's clear of those two studs. Okay, as you can see, I'm under the car. It's draining. Behind the engine, look up. As you can see, there's the brackets for the intake. It's these gold tens. You need, that's the only ones you need to take off and you'll be able to pick the intake up and get to the other bolts after you take the head off. All right, so it's that one, that one right there, and right there, that's it. All right, next we're gonna take off the valve train, or the rocker train. Um, you have four 10 millimeter bolts. This one, this one, this one, this one. You have 10 of the 12 millimeter bolts. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We're gonna do all those right now. First, we're gonna work from the outside in. Ten millimeter bolts first. We're gonna loosen them up. Pay very close attention to this part of the video. So we're gonna loosen these with the wrench. And then get the gun. You don't have to touch that one right there. That's just the drain or a relief. Do not pull them out. Leave them where they are, just loose. Be sure 
try to do the middle ones last. Here on this side, right here, I'm sitting with the screwdriver. No gap on this side, just gonna pop it up. And just like on the 98 Civic video, we're gonna hold it on both ends, right here, right here, right here, right here. Rock it and pop it up, keeping it all together. All right, we're gonna sop up this oil. Once you have the bow train and the rocker bow train um, off, you know, lift up this end of the cam. Just lift it up. It takes the slack off the belt. And then you slide the belt off. That's it. Leave the cam where it is, or you can take it off. I'm going to take it off just so I can clean up this oil. Okay, next we have the intake. Take off, you can't get all of it off immediately on the on these ones, you have to have the head off. But anyway, you have five bolts on the intake. Right now we're gonna take off four of them. There's one right here on the corner. Then under this vacuum line, there's a, that's a nut. It's kind of long, it's right here, I'm touching it. There's another one on the opposite side. And one more on the corner. I'm gonna use the 12 gear wrench take all those off and then once we get the head up we'll take the last one off. Because the purge valve is in the way of this intake bolt underneath the fuel rail, we're going to move the purge valve out of the way. Right there. And then this guy, this little clip. Right here. Get a small stand to do it. That'd be easier to get to that nut right there. Okay, for um, this corner bolt on the side here, closest to the driver's side. We're gonna use a four inch extension and a deep 12. You can't fit the gear wrench in there. You have to use this, but it's very easy. You can use any size ratchet. Just fit it behind the throttle cables. Fit on there, nice and easy, and easily take the bolt off. Okay, we're finally to the head bolts now. There's 10 of them, um, they're right here. You wanna start on the outside and work your way in. Now, when you're taking off the head bolts, you don't wanna do them all at once. Like don't take this bolt all the way out and then move on to another one. You wanna um, loosen them in a sequence. So you heard one crack right there. I'm gonna go to a second crack and then move on to the next bolt. That's it. It's all you wanna do at first and start on the outside, like I said. So one crack, two cracks, that's it. Don't do any more. You're gonna, you're gonna risk uh, ripping out the threads or warping the head. Two cracks every time. Okay, they've all been cracked now, and now you can start actually loosening them up. I still recommend doing another section before you get it all the way out. Good quarter turn. But a good quarter turn now is, will do just fine. Maybe a little less. Just make sure there's a little bit tension left on the bolts when you do your second pass. I just crossed over to an X pattern, if you notice. It's not necessary, it's just habit because that's how you need to torque it down. All right, now the second pass is done. Third pass, you're just gonna loosen them up. So you can do it by hand, and then you just pull them out with a gun. I will show you in just a moment. And my favorite part about Honda engines, specifically this one, the washer stays with the head bolt. So you 
don't have to worry about that like on Toyotas. But now we can pull them out and pull the head up and get to that last intake bolt. Okay, with the head bolts out, it's still gonna be kind of stuck to the block, so you need to loosen it up a little bit. I like to just go under this bolt on the, on the alternator. Start popping it up. And you can see that it's definitely loose now. Pick it up by hand. Okay, as you can see, the head is propped up. Now uh, we use big sockets and extensions to hold it. Anyway, now we're gonna get the uh, final, it's actually a nut on the intake. It's right in the middle. Make sure it's the middle one, not anything in the side. It's directly behind this stud. The best way to do it is after the head is up. Propped up. We use a gear wrench to go in there. You reach behind and you'll be able to feel the middle one. There are three back there you can feel, but you want the middle one to come off. Okay, now we have the center bolt out. We have actually all five of the bolts that attach the intake manifold to the head. They're all out, just five. If you take out more than five, then you took out one that didn't need to come. You just gotta maneuver this guy away from the intake. Sometimes it's a little stubborn. Yeah, those studs. And they want to stay with it. You gotta convince them to come apart. There we go. The head is up. I'm gonna take off this head gasket. On this one, the uh, alignment pins actually came up with the head. Be sure not to lose these guys. Put them, pull them out, and take and put them back in the block. We don't need them on the head. That'll make reinstallation a lot easier. So we'll take this head to the machine shop and get it inspected and start putting this all back together. Okay, ready to put the new gasket back on. These alignment pins that I pulled out of the head, they need to go in the block. They stay in front, two front. The head gasket looks like it can go on either way, but it doesn't. So you have these bolt holes here that line up. But these two back ones don't. So be sure that it goes on the proper way. And that you can see all of the bolt holes lining up before you place the head down. All right, <clears throat> so we just finished the lower nut on the intake, the one in the middle, the one we told you about taking the head off the first to do it. And so now we can put the head down. Um, so on these ones, if you you want to pick it up and put it straight down, you don't want to like fold it over, or you do run the risk of actually folding part of the metal on the gasket, and then it won't, it just won't seal at all, and you'll be back at square one. Okay, the head is down. We just used a power tool to um, just get the head bolts all the way flush. They're not tight at all. So um, get a standard torque wrench for this one. Uh, this model is a, a three-step process to torque the head. You can start off with 14 pounds on the torque wrench, then you're going to move up to 36 pounds and do a pass, and then their final final pass will be 49 pounds. What order do the uh, bolts? The bolts have to be done in a specific order, starting with the middle. Always start with the middle, so you're, you're working your way out. So you're going to go top two, either one first, and then the opposing bolt, jump back over to the opposing side, and then finish up the X pattern. Now for the last one, do the farthest bolt away from the final one in the center and then start the X pattern again. So you jump back over to this side then here and jump back over. Now you're gonna do that sequence every single time. 14 pounds, 36 pounds, and then 49 pounds. Okay, next, uh, remember those lines that we put on the timing belt match up with the cam. Now, on a side note, the belt does not jump the crankshaft. The teeth do not move down there, okay? Um, it, it just won't happen. So you can feel safe in taking off this belt and putting it back on, the lines matching up just fine. Don't worry about it. Just lays back in there. And tilt it back up. Make sure the AC's out of the way. I'm gonna to have to use two hands. So, when putting the cam on, you want to make sure that this once the cam's laid down and the belts slipped on, 
the seal, make sure it is in as far as it'll go. Look right there. Otherwise, if it's pushed out this way, it'll lose a lot of oil. It'll leak a lot. We have to put this guy back right here. And we're gonna grab the valve train now. Just as before, pick up the valve train the same way. This, make sure these arms are facing up, not down. They are up. I'm gonna line them up in their corresponding valves. There you go. Now, very important, make sure that these are on top of the valves and not push on the side. See how that one's on the side? And make sure they're all up and on, resting on top of them. Otherwise, when you tighten this down, it'll push the valves out and bend the stems. Okay, now I'm gonna get the gun and I'm gonna start tightening these up very carefully and very slowly. I'm gonna start in the middle. Okay, now we're gonna get the Once you have them all started, you gotta ensure that none of these rockets are pushing the, the valves out. They're all on top of the valves. Looking good. Now we can with the hand wrench just to make sure they all feel good next is the timing cover you have three timing cover bolts two short ones one long one as you look at the timing cover the long one is going to go right here below the cam position sensor short ones on both ends don't forget the cam position sensor the clip is at 10 o'clock so make sure you hear the click like that. You have to put the intake bolts back on. Remember there's two nuts, or three nuts total, but we already put one on. But two nuts and two bolts left. Bolts go on the outside, nuts go basically right here. Let's be real, we're not gonna record the rest of putting the rest of the engine back together. That's the easy part. Our camera died while doing the rest of the video, but it's pretty simple. Uh, the hard parts are covered, so you don't have to worry about that. If you follow the video to the T, you should be successful in changing your head gasket. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. You can text the number that we have listed. We'll respond.